Okay, assalamualaikum and good day to Dr. Mazini Muda and my fellow friends. We are from Group 5 going to present our new product line called Dutch Lady Black Seed 0% Fat Yogurt Drink from Dutch Lady. Our group member consists of Nora Alisha Nadira, Hari Shafi, um, Natasha Yarina, Wanora Malia, Nur Safa Nadiha and me myself Sabina Natasha. Next, yeah, I'm going to explain about introductions. In recent years, Malaysia dairy sector has continued to struggle in terms of productivity, product diversification and quality resulting in increased import of milk and dairy products. Furthermore, demand for milk and dairy products continues to rise every year. The economic growth in developing countries has resulted in an increasing number of competitors such as Nestle, Marigold and Farm Fresh. For a company overview, we chose Dutch Lady. So Dutch Lady Milk Industry Berhad was founded in Petaling Jaya Selangor in 1963. The company offers a wide range of high quality and delicious milk-based dairy products and is distributed nationally to help Malaysians keep healthy as they continue to grow up. The company has produced sweetened condensed milk, evaporated milk, milk powder, yogurt, UHT milk and thin cream. The rational objective for developing our marketing plan is to enter a new market. To achieve this goal, we have to perform competitor analysis for the new market and reinforce our sales points so that we are appealing to our new market and letting them know how our product or service help them achieve their goals. Secondly, developing a rational plan can increase customer loyalty. Customers possess a huge purchasing power. They can give us essential word of mouth marketing and assist us in increasing sales by purchasing more of what we have to offer. It is most likely crucial for our company to be able to retain present customers and grow their loyalty to our business. Last but not least, developing a rational plan is a mechanism for performance, monitoring and evaluation. A plan should be developed to identify if the marketing strategies in place are producing results or need to be altered based on the past, current and forecast future status of the industry and the general business environment. So I will explain about the target market analysis. So target market analysis is an assessment of how your product or service fits into a given market and where it will achieve the most momentum with clients is known as a target market analysis. So first is your the geography anal uh, segmentation that CD had chosen urban and suburban locations in Malaysia as their geographic segmentation. As we can see, people who live in the city have a larger number of incomes compared to people who live in the countryside. So uh, in the but in the countryside children are most likely love to drink milk. So the level of price for that CD is set on on fair and families with low income can purchase any product from Dutch Lady. Second is demographic segmentation. The Dutch Lady's product provides all of the nutrients that children require to proper for proper growth and this satisfies the customer's requirements. But the more today's mothers are concerned about their children's health as well as the food and beverages they consume. I will explain about the company analysis. Company analysis is a process carried out by investors to evaluate securities, collecting infos related to the company's profile, products and services as well as profitability. It is also referred as fundamental analysis. First, I will talk about this one, uh, SWOT analysis for Dutch Lady. The strength is success of new product mix and strong brand recognition. So the weaknesses is niche markets and local monopolies, low investment into Dutch Lady's milk, customer-oriented service. The opportunities is online space and customers migrate, which higher end products. Treats is changing demographic and competitors catching up with products development. For Dutch Lady Milk uh, Industry Berhad has 130 years of dairy experience. In 1988 and 2010, uh, Dutch Lady created the world's first uh, growing up milk formula and kids liquid milk. In 2011, Dutch Lady helped nations to reduce sugar consumption by 65% in their recipes. Uh, the Dutch Lady with uh, a two, two a day campaign is encouraging nations to consume two glass per day uh, their R&D department employs 400 scientists uh, to assure product quality and Dutch Lady has successfully maintained certification such as ISO 9001, OSAS 8001 and HACCP for the uh, production plans. Dutch Lady winning the Reader's Digest uh, Super Brand Gold Award for 11 consecutive years 
since 1999 and uh, recognized as among the top 30 of nation's most valuable brands over the years. On the CSR, the Ashledi uh, lead providing quality health uh, dairy nutrition, ensuring uh, sustainability and be the, be the number one employer in dairy. I will talk about the competitors analysis. A competitors analysis also referred to as a competitive analysis, which is the process of uh, identifying competitors in industry and researching their different marketing strategies. The company can use this information as a point of comparison to identify the IR company's strengths and weaknesses relative to each competitor. First, I will explain the SWOT analysis for first competitors, which is Nestle. The strength is largest food company, reputed, uh, reputed brand, com, uh, brand name, globally recognized name, and highly diversified company. The weaknesses is price fluctuations by retail giants, Second is social criticisms. Third is span of control and organizational structure. Fourth is uh, racially insensitive product names. The opportunities is uh, for Nestle. First is online shopping. Second is partnerships. Third is authentic labeling. The tricks is water scarcity, rising competition, and government regulations and prices. Second, I will explain some analysis for the second competitors, which is from Fresh. The strength is natural ingredients and fast production. The weaknesses is high price and short product lifespan. The opportunities is capitalized on MCO and the trees is high comp competition. So analysis competitors for Marigold. The strength is high quality product. Second is production effic uh, efficiencies. Third is affordable and reasonable price. Fourth is rich with vitamins. Fifth is strict uh, adherence. Uh, the weaknesses is lack of brand loyalty and limited marketing budget. The opportunities is long-term commercial contracts and opportunity increased demand. The trade is overshadowed, direct competitors and economic trade. The still uh, analysis was used to identify micro environmental uh, influence on Dutch lady for political factors, government intervention in the commercial environment such as government policies and government system are correlated uh, with this factor. For economic factors, it includes an exchange rate, inflation rate, uh, interest rate, and etc. For social uh, factors, it may assist uh, Dutch lady to better understand business practice and customer preferences such as uh, culture, demography, health, uh, safety, attitudes, and so on. For technological factors, Dutch lady is impacted by technology in supply chain disruption, uh, innovation in customer service and product offerings, and etc. For environmental uh, factors, Dutch lady must consider sustainability and environmental issues such as minimizing carbon uh, footprints, safe water treatment, pollution, and so forth. For legal factors, in order to join the worldwide uh, market, Dutch lady must evaluate the legal factors such as time needed to provide uh, justice, copyright law, discrimination laws, uh, data protection laws, and etc. So we go to product strategy. So the first part, the first one is product vision. It's the line on how the problem comes, we solve it, and why do we create the products on the right time. This new product is a big opportunity for Dutch Lady to create because Black Sea is one of the new future trends. Second one is the target market for this new product is all kind of age from children to adult because blood seed 0% yogurt vegetable for all layers of people and ages. But adults are more likely to use and buy this product because it has a lot of benefit to them. For product positioning is a form of marketing that presents the benefits of your product to a particular target audience. This new product is important to find and the product match with, with customer need and to make customer expectation. Next is product differentiation. Dutch Lady Black Seed uh, Zero Percent Yogurt Drink is the number one innovative yogurt drink available in Malaysia brand. What makes Dutch Lady superior among all the brands is these new ideas on plant based by using Black Seed. And the last one is the goals and initiative. The goals for this brand is to bring this product in Malaysia major market and Asia consumers repeated the purchase on this new product. The goals to maintain the products on market is brighter because of the strength that others company possess. Uh, right now, I'm going to explain about our pricing strategy. So for our product, we have decided to use premium pricing strategy. So the goal of uh, premium pricing is to create perception in the market that our product is uh, is better than our competitors. So, uh, the, uniqueness, the uniqueness of our product is one of the reasons why we choose to use premium pricing strategy. So as you all know, there are only basics, coffee and never basics you can drink before this. So it is a totally uh, new product in the market. So this means customer will not be able to discover any alternative since uh, rivals uh, will require sometimes before they produce a similar product. 
and in the, in the introductory uh, pricing of the product will be RM8.50 per bottle. So for distribution strategy, we had decided to use selective uh, distribution for our product. So selective distribution for somewhere in the center could be intensive and explosive distributions. So uh, the first and most important benefit uh, of selective uh, distribution is that it helps to reduce distribution costs. For example, if a company has to supply product uh, to five distributors instead of 50 distributors in one location, the cost of supply will be lower, which will help to reduce its operational cost, resulting in higher profit margins. So uh, next is humans have a tendency to take things for granted if they are readily available everywhere. So which is why selective distribution is important. So it helps the, our company to grab, create a brand image because consumers know that a particular product uh, is only available at specific locations. And as a result, they sometimes buy our products from those locations even if they are far away from their homes. All right, so next is uh, promotional <coughs> strategy. So the goal of prom promotion is to increase uh, the demand uh, for our product, which is uh, actually the Brexit 0% fat yogurt drinks. So first of all, we use an advertising strategy for the uh, for our product. So advertising is increasing customer awareness of any product. So allowing them to come and test after reaching major age. Advertising is in the creation of goodwill for the, for our firm and the acquisition of client loyalty. So one of the advertising strategy that we are going to use is social media strategies. So nowadays, um, everybody use and get attached to using uh, social media. It is a great opportunity for us to do promotion on the platform. Next, we use sales promotion. So sales promotion is a marketing approach which a uh, product is pushed through short-term bubbling uh, activities in order to enhance demand and sales. So the next part is media plan. Media plan is a process for Dashedi to determine how they will run the advertisement for their brand. And the objective for Dashedi is to promote the new product development and converting the audience to customers' brand advocates. We are going to focus on selling the products by promoting to several media. By create a planning on advertising, it will give a benefit for the company to know the budget for their advertising. Okay, this one is promotion and advertising plan. Promotion and advertising plan for this new product development from Dashedi is by using a special introduc uh, introductory offer by giving a sales promotion to its customer. On the first week of launching the product, we will give a 5% discount for customers who purchase more than 4 drinks. And we will be going to advertise the products on few media sources such as TV ads, social media advertising like Instagram, Facebook and TikTok. And the attractive video might give a positive impact on consumer perception to, towards the new products and lead to buying behavior. The JD also uses traditional advertising such as TV advertising to help the brand reach wider audience. Personal selling strategy. The first personal selling strategy that Dash Eddie used to introduce their, their new product is to present the product benefit on any platform that they use to advertise this product. This new drink comes with black seed that has a lot of beneficial, such as anti-inflammatory. At the same time, new personal strategy for this product is based on storytelling from someone had tried the product to share about their personal experience and it can be involved on how the product changed the consumer life or any customers tell about the flavor and efficiency. For positioning strategy, um that's the Dashley Blade Seed 0% fat yogurt drink is a unique drink compared to the previous Dashley Blade drink. So basically, it is a combination of cream yogurts that were made from delicious pure cows and milk and black seeds. So black seeds has these um, anti-inflammatory benefits that will benefit human beings. Uh, it also comes with zero calories and 25% less sugar. So other than that, uh, the product also provides vitamin A, C and E. So that's why the basic 0% fat yogurt drink will be positioned as a ready, ready to drink product. Customers will be able to drink it on the spot after buying it. And so as the product is totally new, our customers will get totally new, new yogurt drink experience. Customers will enjoy all the health benefits of black seeds in a totally new way. For our sales forecast, we use forecast for value of the previously referenced account for yogurt product methods, which are the formula is current sales multiplied by 1 plus growth rate divided by 100s so we got the 100 to million 61,000 and 200 ringgit Malaysia we estimate market share for yogurt drink is 5% that's mean the estimate sale will be 5 million 100 3,000 and 60 ringgit so the per month is 425 ringgit 425,255 ringgit per month which are 50,030 bottles per month so the total sale forecast for 2020 we estimated and target 5 million 100 3000 and 60 ringgit Malaysia but the actual amount we got is more than we target which are 5 million 500 20000 800 and 69 ringgit Malaysia which are the variance is 8.19% 
Next for pro forma income statement. After all expenses deducted from the gross profit, the lady net profit after tax is two million nine hundred and seventy four thousand six hundred and forty two ringgit with thirty one cents. Be next, based on the predator accountant numbers, this current product has a strong chance of becoming successful in the future. As a result, Dutch Lady should devote more attention to this product in order to maintain its position in the market. It is recommended that the Dutch Lady firm make certain investment to ensure the money is received on project plan and that this investment be separate from the sales revenue. Long-term financial option that we suggested include the following sort of arrangement which are um, the application of bonds, second common stock and the third one is preferential stock. Alright, so that's it is average correction period kept changing. So for internal risk, uh, for the first internal risk, uh, the average correction period measures the number of days uh, of the company collects back the credit sales. So the lower the average correction period, the better the, for the firm's performance because it indicates that the firm is able to collect back uh, the credit sales in the short period. So um, average collection period of Dutch Lady Industries uh, is in fluctuation situation. In 2011, the Collection period of Dutch Lady is 15 days and this figure to decrease to 13 days uh, in 2013. Uh, the decreasing value of our various uh, period due to the increase in of account receivable. It means that the borrowing of the customer in Dutch Lady industry per heart is increasing. In the year 2014, the period increased to 14 days and continues to increase to 21 days in 2015. Dutch Lady have a uh, product issue. So most of uh, most food products has, have similarities to some uh, are not original and some responsible product companies try to sabotage uh, the quality products of other companies so this is the case with the with dutch lady company where they have a product problem there are some manufacturers of milk powders product trying to make the same label as the dutch lady product label and they put uh, the adhesive line with the original and have a negative effect on the user and dutch lady have, have had received many complaints from the consumers for external risk, one of the external risks is political risk. It is a change in Malaysia political environment and also government policy is the pr is the pricing strategy. Example like changes in law and regulations. The uncertainty of the polit political environment has led to vol volatile price rates such as changes in the tax rate or any introduction of new tax laws. Another one of external risks is economic. It is one of external risks that might be happening towards this company and economic circumstances beyond the company control will have an impact on the shady sales. This, in, this includes the exchange rates between the country and also have also market shares of the shady. I will explain to how to avoid the risk. First is the first of business risk refers to the probability of a commercial enterprise producing insufficient profit as a result of unknowns. There are ways to avoid those risks at, or at least reduce the risk faced by a company. First is uh, one of the ways is by doing internal risk control. There are two types of internal risk control such as preventive and detective controls. Preventive controls help businesses to identify a risk before it occurs, while detective controls help to find the source of problems when they occur. So in internal controls that are suitable and effective can help you lessen some of the risks faced by a company or business. Creating a risk management strategy will also assist you in anticipating hazards, estimating their implication and defining your actions to them. Next is maintaining an appropriate quantity of capital is one of the best methods to control company risk. Internal storms such as upgrading or replacing manual functioning machinery or system might be better weathered by a corporation with enough financial resources. Companies that have sufficient funds can also weather an anticipated by dangers such as a recession or political issues. Faced with the risk stated before, Dutch Lady may apply remedies such as minimizing product production costs, increasing return on investment, and the own manufacturing components. Purchase inventory in bulk and according to plan usage may help organizations save money on product production expenses while still fulfilling sales revenue objective. A company may save money by purchasing inventory in bulk and according to its plan usage. Aside from that, the firm will profit from the investment via dividend. This is preferable than taking out a loan from a lender. The last approach is to maximize the usage of all production components to increase output while saving time and money. The company's financial account can be better managed and consumer demand certified if money flows in. Finally, setting the business's financial budget for the next three months ensure that the firm is ready to face future obstacles and reduce stress. So in a nutshell, 
uh, Dash Ready is effective in sales because their marketing strategy and marketing plan are designed properly in order to retain uh, existing customers and attract new customers. So uh, that's all from us. Uh, thank you for listening. Assalamualaikum.